Hi, I'm Myra Ferguson for Ajar Productions, and in this video, I'd like to show you how to create hyperlinks in InDesign and export them within 5. Hyperlinks take you to other specified content, such as another web page, another page in your document, or specific sections of text in your document. Here's an example of a site with hyperlinks. When I click on this text, another website opens in a new window. Clicking this link goes to another page in my document. This link goes to another section of text in my document. And clicking this image goes to another page in the document. Let's jump over to InDesign to see how to make these links. Here's the document which contains three pages. To make the first link, I can select the URL in the text, copy it, go to the Hyperlinks panel, Window, Interactive, Hyperlinks, and paste it in the URL field. The text didn't contain a protocol, but the URL field includes it for us. After I paste it, InDesign turns that text into a hyperlink. The next one is a link that goes to the next page. Let's select the text and click the plus button at the bottom of the hyperlinks panel to open the new hyperlink dialog. At the top are the types of links I can make. I want this one to go to page two. So let's select page in the drop down menu. In the destination section, let's set the page to page two. Note that even though there is a section to select a different document, you would need to export each document separately with N5 and manually set the path to the other document. For more information about linking documents, see the article Link from One Document to Another with InDesign and N5. Because the next link is going to go to a location on a page, we'll need to make a text anchor before making the link. I'll go to page three and select the text. Then I'll go to the hyperlinks panel menu. That's the hamburger menu in the upper right of the panel and I'll select New Hyperlink Destination. In the New Hyperlink Destination dialog, I'll make sure that Type is set to Text Anchor. I can change the name of the text anchor if I want. Now I can make the hyperlink. I'll go back to page two, select the text for the hyperlink, and either click the plus button at the bottom of the hyperlinks panel, or go to the hyperlinks panel menu and select New Hyperlink. Either option opens the New Hyperlink dialog. I'll set the first drop down menu to Text Anchor. In the Destination section, I'll make sure the document is set to this document and set the Text Anchor to the destination that I just made. The character style is set to Hyperlink, but if I had a specific style for hyperlinks, I could choose that. By default, N5 makes a yellow box that highlights this destination after the hyperlink is clicked in order to help the user. If you'd prefer to remove the highlight, you can add CSS to the Resources section of the Export dialog from the article How to Remove the Yellow Box Highlight on Bookmarks or Text Anchors. I can also add hyperlinks to images. Let's select this image and click the plus button to make a new hyperlink. Let's set the Link to dropdown to Page, and we'll make it go back to Page 1. Let's save and export. And here's our document with our link to open another URL, a link to open a page, a link to go to a specific part of a page, and an image that links back to the first page. You can also make hyperlinks to access other files such as a PDF, send an email, or dial a phone number. Let us know in the comments how you're using hyperlinks in your N5 exported content. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and be sure to check out N5 at n5.us. Thanks so much for watching.